All right, welcome back to our build, everybody. Today, we're gonna to be installing freeze plugs back into our heads. So we're gonna need six of these 10 millimeter, or sorry, 20 millimeter freeze plugs and four of the 10 millimeter. So we got some new ones from Porsche. That's the part number for the 10 millimeters. The 20 millimeters we got on Amazon. Of course, I'll put a link in the description for these guys. So uh, in today's video, yes, we're gonna attempt to reinstall them. There's the two. Those, those are the only two that are little. All right, so we got the two 10 millimeters there, and then we got three of the 20 millimeters go down in here we removed them of course for cleaning uh, to make sure all of the passageways were cleaned out no media left in there so i think we're going to use some sort of Socket. sealant oh yeah seal it i gotta get the sealant all right so we're going with the permatex ultra red uh gasket maker high temp <laughs> Sockets. And in keeping with the spirit of our project, this is of course the first time we have ever done this. So leave some comments below. Uh, let us know if you guys have done this before, if we're doing it right, if you have any better tips. Um, but uh, what we have seen is you use a socket and a little hammer to uh, just hammer them back in once you put a little bit of the gasket maker on them. All right, so. We're, uh, you don't want to over juice. Don't want to under juice. Average juice. Average juice is what we're going for. I don't know if I'm doing this right. But... It looks correct and appropriate mm. to our untrained eyes. Yes. And again, if you have any comments, if we did it wrong, Experts, you know who you are. We can always remove them. We can always remove them and do it again, and that's just more content and <laughs> money in our ever-expanding budget. It's only been a year since we started this. Only been a year. So what's a couple more weeks? Exactly. All right, so. What size we got there? It's 12 millimeter socket. Good precision. Yep, there we go. <laughs> it's just part of the deal. God, I put, I probably over juice that one. God damn. I'll do it again. <laughs> Only once. All right. Well, probably should have put it. Hmm. All right, see what happens. Oh. And you can see down by looking into this one, there is a uh, ridge down there, so you can't push it in too far, I don't think. So I guess we just want to uh, seat it. Always use your extension. Actually, you know what? This is sort of catching. I'm gonna go with a slightly smaller. What's wrong with 12? Uh, 11. Trick <laughs> <laughs> question. Don't make us go metric. I mean, uh, standard. Oh yeah. I, you could uh, you could hear yeah. how it went slightly different, right? Mm -hmm. At least I heard it. And of course, you want them to be flat and level. I want them to be Is that flat and level? cockeyed in there. That looks pretty freaking flat and level. You can totally tell that it that it absolutely my mother. A little bit of a mess here. Kim wipes to the rescue. Mm -hmm. That looked like a decent one. I always take it back apart and vapor hunt it again. Start from, <laughs> start from yeah. Um, I'm wondering, I'm going to try a different technique this time. 
right. Since we're experimenting. Technique number two. Technique number two. I'm going to... We will experiment on our engine so you don't have to... <laughs> so you don't have to experiment. Right. Right, apply the juice to the apply opening. Apply the juice to the opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you can probably see the uniformity. Hmm. Again, this is us... Watch videos of it, of people doing it both ways. Now that is nice and uniform. Mm -hmm. All right. Remember, those are cool and cooling passages. So now the pressure of of those nice round thingies should be able to do it for you. And quick clean. I did it last time. Yeah, even without the juice, it should uh, be enough to keep the coolant where it's supposed to be, but. All right, I got juice all over my hands. All right, here we go, Aaron. Let's get down in here. Let's go for the audible. Oh, I can hear the, I can I really hear the difference. Man, that looks nice and even. Oh yeah, I think that's the way to do it. I think that's the way to do it, right? Oh. You're making a mess. Hey, I whatever, I, man. I think you could have just on. left it and let it dry. No, ho, we. I don't want any contaminants. <laughs> I mean, it's probably right. All right, two down. This is easy. <laughs> Famous <laughs> last <laughs> word. <laughs> These areas are generally clean. Oh shit. Looks like I overjuiced it. But again, that's down in the It's down in the coolant channel. Yeah, it'll dry. It'll be fine down there. Gonna have to be more careful with the um, baby, oil. Baby yeah, ones. the baby ones. One inch. Eleven inch. <laughs> Millimeter. Doesn't look like eleven inches to me. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> It's time for comedy. All right, ready? Uh, I, that last one. It's satisfying. Yeah. Just watching it. So you're saying, eh. don't do anything with it. Yeah, I mean, it's going to let it be dry on there, right? Yep. I wonder if we should drive it deeper. Like all the yeah, way that's to what that. I was wondering if, it, if yeah. you should go all the way to the base. Seems deep. It's, deep. it's touching something there. Oh, yeah. And it's nice and even. And it took all the juice with it, too. I mean, meaning it's scraping it all the way down, which to me points to a nice that is, that is seal. Deep. Ah, yeah. All right, guys, let us know. Surface, just below, or all the way down to the detent? You can, we can always redo it. Yeah, easy um, to take out. Yeah, this is what the detent looks like before. Right? Right there. Yeah, it almost seems like it should go down there. It's not like it's blocking anything if it goes down further. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it would make a difference to me. All right. 
All right, we're getting ready to do the little ones. We went back and looked at some pictures of this from when we took them out, and we are pretty sure that they were just below the surface, not all the way down like we just did. So for this side, we're gonna do them just below the surface, how they were originally, and... I'm probably gonna end up redoing these. Yeah, we might redo them. Um, I was thinking about it, and I thought the purpose for their existence is that they're called freeze plugs because if your engine freezes and the water expands it has something to be able to push out instead of cracking your uh, metal block or cylinder head in this case so if they were closer to the surface it would be easier for them to do their job and come out and release so i don't know that's my science and reasoning behind it so i'm probably going to redo the one side and do the other side yeah, um, I think so. As we had it, so. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and knock out these little 10 millimeter guys. And uh, what socket size are we going with here? Um, this is a 3 16 just to, you know. Oh boy. Just to get people riled up. Can't you? All right, you don't wanna <laughs> do that. <laughs> Dang on it. Oh, you got some junk on it. I'm gonna start all over again. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the old-fashioned way of putting it around here. Oops. Man, I'm making a mess. This is what happens when you get old. <laughs> this is an oil passage, so... Yeah, we don't want to block up our oil passages. It'll be less sloppy. All the excess. All I can see is excess. And on this, we want to do it right to the surface. Full coverage all the way around. All right. Nice and clean. Push part number. All right, Aaron, hold on to it for dear life. Holding. That felt good. Oh, yeah. That's precisely where it should go. Money. It seems a little. Make sure it's all level. Yep. surface and on this side you can see mm -hmm. yeah beautiful all right keep it down it's a long way oh, that's a lot of juice in there all right for those for those of you who did uh who've been privately sending me messages saying why doesn't aaron do any of the work so Changing tone. Look at that. See, look at me doing freeze plugs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. They all look nice. Beautiful. All right, we got those in. That was really easy. So uh, hopefully this was helpful to you guys and you will be helpful to us. Um, so give the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, of course. We'll see you on the next video that we are about to film. We're going to go ahead and do a little test here to make sure our valves are sealed properly. So see you guys on the next video.